So these two teams, I realize we're not in June yet. Uh, I'll start with Eric because he's kind of the negative guy here. Are you a, are you a believer? <laughs> <laughs> I know Frank's going to say. I'm a realistic guy. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. That's says, what yeah. I meant. Uh, uh, are you a believer in the Phillies or the Braves still being there at the end of the year at the top of this division? I, no, I, I still, I, I like the Nationals. And the Braves, they're a nice story right now. And they're fun to watch. There's a lot of energy. I just don't think they sustain the offense throughout the rest of the year. The starting pitching while on paper, it's pretty good, and, and they've got some decent pieces in the bullpen. I think when you get to August, and if they're still around then, and these games mean something, and then they realize, wow, we're playing for uh, the lack of veteran presence may come back to get them. And, and Philly, I mean, you know. And they released uh, Jose Batista, which you question. The Braves, I don't understand. You're in first place. Everything's going well. You, you, you release a veteran who can provide protection for a guy like Freddie Freeman. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yes, 35 at-bats, a slow, low batting average. It's a veteran. He missed all of spring training, but he still provided a couple home runs, a couple doubles. I would have kept Batista on that team just because. You need a little veteran presence sometime. When it's not broken, don't try to fix it. Right. When and you're in first place, they've been shut out two out of the last three days. Yeah, we just mentioned, yeah. W and without him being... Back in, the, back in the lineup. Can I, can I say something about the Braves? Go can ahead. I talk about Real the Braves? Quick. One thing, just the Braves are in a stretch right now. Right. 14 games. They've got three with the Phillies. Then they play the Red Sox. Then they play the Mets. And then four with the Nationals. So these next 14 games, we'll see what happens in two weeks when we're doing this show if we're still talking about the Braves and how fun they are. All right. Uh, you talked about their pitching. What about the Phillies pitching? Mm -hmm. uh, certainly a better starting rotation. And Aaron Nola has emerged as an ace. Pavetta has come on, as we just showed. You got to like it. You know, they got three guys there that, that can really pitch, led by Arietta, who's been through all the wars, World Series champion. Uh, but I really like their offense. These guys go up there to swing it. They hustle. They play the game the right way. I'm liking the way things are turning up in Philadelphia. Yeah, look, at Philadelphia went into this season with uh, we can compete, and we might be able to make some noise. And that was evident by the signing of Arietta, Also Santana, some pieces in the bullpen. So they aren't looking to three, four years down the road. They're saying, hey, yeah. look, at, we've got the pieces for right now. Yeah, maybe the Nationals aren't going to run away. And, Who's uh, that kid out of bullpen? So, Came in throwing about 99. Yeah. Yeah, and, Was Dominguez? Yeah. Sir Anthony. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Sir Amazing. Anthony and Masterson. Gabe, oh, no. Ka Gabe Kapler, the, the rookie <laughs> uh, manager, you know, people thought he'd be shuffling the lineup throughout. He kind of settled, at least recently, on a steady lineup, and obviously it's been productive. Well, what he did so, with Herrera. But, but the players make his decisions. Right by the way that they're going out and performing. And yeah. they've gone out there, you know, they've gone out there and they have been pretty steady. They play hard. And that's the one thing that Gabe it, it, mm -hmm. he, always did. Yeah, he, you got to play the hard. You've yeah. got to play hard. All right, so they win the first of three in that uh, NL East matchup. But maybe the National League West isn't as good as we thought it was overall at the start of the year. And I know you thought, you're allowed to change your position on this, the Dodgers were a wild card team. No, 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 no. Are you ready to say now? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're a division I winner. I thought they were a division winner. Yeah, then? And I went to wild card when Seager went down. Okay. And then now I'm saying, look at it. I, don't, I, I think they're going to the playoffs. The only way anybody goes to the playoffs in, from the National League West Got to win the division. one team. Oh, for right. I, I don't okay. think there's going to be multiple. With Seager down, I I don't. It's not like past years where they have all the firepower coming back yeah. and they just take. They're not off. hitting home runs this year. I They're mean, not. And, yeah. and, and just look at in the last couple of games that they've won. In the last three games that they've won, they've hit a, a number of home runs. They homered again tonight, and that's where they're going to have to get. I mean, the slugging Bellinger hasn't got hot yet. I just think that division is. Very average at best. And that's what's allowed them to stay in this thing and not get blown out right out of the chute. I, I still think that they're going to get to the playoffs. I, I do believe that they'll win the division just because Arizona right now down. Colorado, I, I, I'm not really seeing it. But Arizona, remember, they're going to get Robbie Ray back at right. some point. And Pollock. And Pollock. So, you know, you, you got to get them while they're down right wow. now. What do you think? I know you. Oh you my still, God, I know where we're going it's here. It's still early. Oh, we're not okay. even June yet. That's right. You got the Giants still there lurking. Go. You got the Dodgers. If they can get healthy, they can find themselves back in the playoffs. I'm not giving up on the Giants or the Dodgers. I think both those teams could slide back in there. But Arizona's got their work cut out right now. The biggest key for them right now is, is Goldschmidt. He is not swinging at all. They will not get to the playoff if he's not having a decent season. Yep. That's their electric bat. This guy can flat out hit one of the best hitters in baseball. They got to get him going. Yeah, and four mm -hmm. teams within four and a half games in mm -hmm. the top spot of the National League West. And Kershaw, a simulated game, is yep. going to throw again, and they expect he'll be back within a week, early June. So encouraging that the Dodgers are making up ground without him.